Welcome, um, everybody. So this will be a pocket PC demo from uh, Cortis uh, produced Snap with co close collaboration with uh, Loic from Canonical. Um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, right from the installation and uh, connecting to Amerisoft eNodeB, and, uh, which is talking to the uh, Lime hardware. Uh, that's the setup there, basically. So I'm going to plug that uh, Lime hardware and uh, install the e um, APC snap. So it's basically removing the snap and reinstalling it afresh. Currently, because uh, the upgrade procedure is still under discussion, so we are just uh, asking for customers just to install the snap from scratch. And uh, so we have that freshly installed. Once you've it, connected the interface, is that right? right? Snap interface, it's all, network control, and network control. I think yeah, if you see a uh, pocket snap script there, so that's what it's removing the pocket EPC installed, and we are installing it and connecting the, uh, uh, the slots with the plugs, and that enables uh, uh, the functionality of the EPC. And uh, because it is already running, uh, service snap ran status. Now it is active and running. At this stage, uh, we should be presented with uh, Pocket EPC web screen. The user will see this, and then uh, they they will contact support team, and then get the tokens. And because I have the access uh, to the token already, um, I will just uh, put that token. This is exactly what the user will be doing uh, once they have the access to the token. So copy that card and uh, paste it in the place provided. So once it is applied, uh, Snap uh, automatically restarts the process because uh, we are killing the process, and then Snap Auto uh, the Restart option will enable the Snap again. So that brings uh, what's now happened just now is uh, that token is talking to the license server back in our office in Camberley and uh, getting the license approved for this application to be used for this particular user. So if you see the system, uh, that's the client ID given to you. And it has, uh, it has spoken to this license server. And it's got uh, those features enabled. And uh, you can just uh, use the LTE service. That's what it says, basically. Now we have uh, the web interface up and running, talking to the license server. Uh, next thing to do is enable the eNode B. Because before we enable the eNode B, we do some NAT interface settings. It's all very easily configurable uh, to the user. Because we know uh, we will be using the wireless uh, network interface, so we select that and then submit. So we'll uh, restart. Uh, the snap again because it's a modification in the configuration. Um, hopefully, by now it should have uh, restarted. Yes, and uh, if you see, just to be absolutely sure, go to systems and then if you see the license information there, you are still connected and up and running. Now, uh, the next thing, the only last thing is to add the eNodeB ID that you are trying to connect. Currently, I'm, uh, I know I'll be connecting to uh, uh, Amerisoft eNodeB with ID. I will just confirm that uh, in a, another th terminal. So that's the configuration changes that will go in, uh, because that's the eNodeB ID A1182D1 that will uh, transform to 
that basically if you just convert into hex to decimal 107217 will be the node bid i will just update that uh, that doesn't require a restart now all that i need to do is uh, so if once you add it you have the node be waiting for con connection it's uh, acting as a server and uh, i'll start uh, node b hopefully it should uh, yes node b starts and it should be now transmitting and if you see now that connection is up and running yeah the user tab is uh, still not uh, populated because we haven't connected so now if we come out of the uh, your airplane mode there you go so you have the signal immediately connected and uh, you have uh, user that user connected to this network and uh, you have uh, bbc or whatever you have the internet connection Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. So what it tells you is uh, you have a stable network and uh, no crashes there, and uh, uh, it's just the ease of uh, installation. Like within five minutes, you have LTE network working. Yeah. And uh, just for information, all these um, SIMs. Currently, I think 1,000 uh, SIMs are preloaded in the HSS database, which is encrypted. Uh, once you have uh, access to those uh, uh, SIM cards from uh, quarters, you can contact, uh, you will have a web forum to, uh, for all the information that you should get to get the tokens for these SIM cards to work. Yeah, that's it. So you just see inside this SIM card, and you have the network like this. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Really amazing. That's pocket EPC for you guys. Yeah, thank you.